Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, we had finished the main story thread. And uh, we have won John's freedom. He has his family back. And now, we need to start restoring the uh, farm. Now uh, we need to go get our son and go get some cattle. Once we've completed this task, hopefully, if the game allows it, we're going to go hunt a Hello, Jaguar. Sir. Hello, son. All right. We should get moving. Let's go see Abigail. Not Abigail. Um, the far lane. Let's go meet good old Bonnie. My God, it's been a while since we've seen her, hasn't it? <laughs> How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. The McFarlane's are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. Met them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a lot of questions. Well, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you learn these things? <laughs> Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, he just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. The gentleman's drip. I don't even want to know what that is. Hey, Paul. What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. The people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I oh, know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. Oh, Jack. Got some interesting ideas in his head. Oh, uh, was it something to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. <laughs> yeah, something like that, John. Something like that. <laughs> Brilliant. So, you ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you herd anything, Pa. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see their ranch. What ours will be one day. I read in the newspaper that ranch is dead. Soon it'll just be factories and businesses around here. You shouldn't believe everything you read. I was thinking, maybe I might be a businessman. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Well, I could be both. A rich industrialist who writes novels about the old west on the side. You can be whatever you want, son, but for now let's concentrate on getting some food on the table. Unless you're planning on striking literary gold in the next day or two, that is. <laughs> There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. That was actually a really cool bit of dialogue. Easy. John Marston. There's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it was be a pleasure. Money's out the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> I'm sure she will. 
Good luck. Yeah, she does kind of owe us son, but we won't go into those little details. Not yet. Alright, Jack. You're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. <laughs> and if you see cows straying off, can you help me round them up? I'll do my best, sir. Jack went the right way. Good I went the retarded my way. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or, trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. All right. Come on. So, let's go. How many cattle are we buying? Are we buying the lot? Slow up. 15 of 15? We can't be buying all of them. Surely. Oh, we've got some stragglers. Head for the river, son. Oh, <laughs> are we seriously there. buying the whole lot? God damn. Well, that's okay. To be fair, we've got plenty of cash in our pocket. We've got nearly $10,000. Ah, uh, they're moving plenty fine, Bonnie. They're moving plenty fine. Yeah, you could say that. Bill, at least. Ah, uh -huh, the arrogance of youth. <laughs> he's a little fur on his lip, and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> yes, I remember those days. Yeah, at least Bill and um, Javier. She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. At least they went back alive. Back together again. It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. Come on. Except, obviously, you know, they definitely would have been executed. How's the ranch? We're surviving, but it hasn't gotten any easier. If you're still struggling, there's not much hope for me. Looks like you got him under control. I best get back to the hall. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for everything. Funny, you stole. <laughs> Jack, we need to move him across Yeah, I like river. Bonnie. She's a... Really, really good character. Alright, well, let's get these uh, walking beef burgers back to where they need to be. At least we're taking the more scenic route. Let's go. So we just bought 15 cows, huh? You're doing a good job, son. Just now, lead them straight up the hill towards home. Notice how we didn't exchange any money. That's kind of curious. Well, maybe we've got them on credit, you know. I'm assuming that's the thing. This should be quite a nice little boon for Bonnie's ranch, though. I'd imagine 15 cattle. Well, it's got to be quite a few dollars. So I guess that's how we're going to be making our money going forwards cattle. Saying that, we've got like 10 grand in our pocket. Like that, you know, that would just be almost unfathomable money back then, surely. I might actually look at a um, inflation calculator for the next video just to see how much that would have been like over a hundred years ago. 110 years ago. My God. Uh, they... Stay back, son. I'll hold them off. They're not cattle rustlers. They wouldn't be that stupid, surely. Definitely picked the wrong cattle to be rustling. That guy tumbled. No survivors. <laughs> not even us, apparently. God damn. <sighs> 
son of a bitch. Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. I'll deal with this. Stay with the herd, Jack. Right, Jack, don't even worry about it, mate. We use a bit of the old dead eye. And we should be able to like sort these guys out. Like that would have been godly. Like to see us drop that many guys so quick. Would have been an insane feat to see. Dad's just murdered 30 people. Jack, wait there, I'm coming. You alright? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Alright. Let's round up. No, the they will not. Move. They're gonna be pushing up daisies. Slow down. Round <laughs> I thought I said round up something else then. Round up the rustlers. They're already rounded up. Rounded and grounded. Right. Come on, Daisy. Get in there. Out the Jack, way, dude. They left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Go. All right. Come on, girls. Let's get going. We've got some nice grass for you to munch on, or whatever it is cows eat. I don't know. Lizards. Duck eggs. I'm not sure. These will be 100% grass-fed cows. Organic, don't you know? We're going to start that label. We're going to start that revolution way before the curve. Organic prairie grass-fed uh, cows. We're going to fertilize our ground with the bodies of dead rustlers. What could possibly go wrong with that? Uh, apparently meat isn't good for fertilizing ground. Come on. Apparently. Whoa. Hey. Alright. Now lead them into the pit. Now I wonder how Come our on. old man lost all the cows last time. Here we are. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks. That's got to be more exciting than those books of yours. Oh, uh, sure. If nearly getting killed is your idea of exciting. <laughs> nice work, son. We made it. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Yeah, almost getting killed. Yeah. Um, Come on. Probably rather read about it than, you know, actually That's a fine be part of it. Ourselves. So we're ranchers now? Yep. I guess we are. <laughs> I guess so. Come on. Whoa. We're gonna fake it till we make it. Did a good job, son. Nice shoot. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. All right. So we have plus fifteen cows. Oh, and we got money. Wait, we got money for that new weaponry is available. Okay, we could actually buy some new weapons. That's kind of curious. But, me friendos, before we do that, we're going to go skin a rather large cat. Sadly, it's a long ride away. So, through the magic of editing, I'll meet you there in a second. But first, let's go... Have a look at these new weapons that are apparently for sale. Uh, I guess we'll get a load of bait. Sure. What else can we buy? Well, there's nothing here that we can buy, so I'm not quite sure why it's saying that we could. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Now, is there a general store here? Um, there is. Excellent. Okay, let's go top up on a few important supplies and then get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm not sure why it says, um... Uh, yeah, not sure why, um, it tells you that 
weapons and things are available when they're just obviously not. Kind of odd. Um, and I think... Ah, oh, we need medicine. And we've got to go to the doctor to buy medicine, haven't we? Kind of annoying. So where is the doc? Oh, the doctor's all the way back up there. I'm going to buy medicine. Uh, and I'll catch you guys back when we're ready to hunt the big cat. Ah, somebody wants a duel. And... I'm pretty sure I've got dueling down now. So, let's see what we can do. Floyd Brogles. See if we can't shoot his gun out of his hand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know how this works now. I think, I guess we're gonna find out. So we've got to draw the gun and then we've got to wait for it to go white. There we go. You gotta wait for it to go white. It's um, it's actually like ridiculously easy, and I'm gonna be curious how many people are gonna be shouting at me, um, <laughs> telling me that it's really bloody easy and simple uh, throughout this LP, to be honest. And you know, I actually 100% blame how the game explains. Uh, Jules working because they are really 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 easy Are you serious oh this guy's a tailor let's say where the hell's the okay gun mill well we've been there and he didn't have what we wanted where the hell's the doctor Come on, John. Is the doctor upstairs? Yeah, so the gun, uh, the game doesn't really explain how jewels work at all. At least, ah, precision. Here we go. At least to me, anyway. So there's the medicine. We're going to take as many as you have. I wish it told us how many we actually have. Uh, let's just have a look how many... Bottles we have. Ba oh, we've only got two snake oil left. And we still only have six medicine. Alright, so we're buying all that snake oil too. Wow, that shit's expensive. Yeah, man. I Yeah, I, I feel like we just got robbed as well, John. Don't worry. That was kind of insane. Yeah, that really is me, dude. That really is me. Okay, so this is where we indeed need to be to find our Jaguar friend. So, apparently it acts just like a cougar. Um, doesn't sound good. Sounds like someone's having a bad time. I can't actually find where that noise is coming from. Alright, whatever. So. If I was a Jaguar, where would I be? Now, we're going to want to keep a high-powered weapon. Pump action should do it. Now, that's a rabbit. I don't know whether I should use a bit of bait. Might not be a terrible idea. You know what I am going to do, though. I am going to use a campfire. Just because. Seems reasonable. So we're going to save it. Uh, now, I don't know if I actually mentioned this either, but off camera. Um, off camera, I actually had a, 
a sister come up to me. And I suppose we're going to want to save until daytime. Uh, and she gave me a necklace because of our... Apparently it's because of our um, high honor. And what that does is make enemies less likely to actually hit us when they're shooting us. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know if I had that before. And what it is... Uh, I'm guess yeah, there we go. That there. Blessed symbol from a far-off land. Enemies have less chance to hit you. I'm sure it helps to some degree. So, we've got some goats. But, ooh, who's moving over here? That looks like an armor dildo. I'm wondering if it's worth laying down some bait. Now, where are you? We are in the right area. We actually are. Good. Need to kind of stay around here. Now, if the Jaguar is anything like the Cougar, it will literally come out of nowhere and set upon us. Probably be hunting us right now. We wouldn't even know it. So... Let's actually use some bait. Don't know how much this is going to help. But we'll give it a go. Let's try. Head over here. Keep our shotgun steady. Oh, shit. That is not what we wanted. Get off me. Get off, you little shitty bastards. Yep, I think I'm probably going to be running around here by myself. For a while before this thing even spawns. That is rather unfortunate. Unless I just have to, like, run around. We are definitely in the right area, though. At least, as far as I'm aware. In fact, if we check out our journal, it should say... Um... Mm-hmm. Ojidel Lobo, which is... Yeah. So it's kind of like this whole area, really. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. This certainly looks like... Oh! There's somebody that could probably use some help. We're going to be getting away from you, don't worry. Oh! I'm not sure. Nope, we did. We saved him. I thought we actually blew him away there for a minute. Really? God damn, stay down. Okay. Now he's probably running in the wrong direction. Let's be honest. I don't know whether we're going to hear this cat charge at us from out of nowhere. Guessing that's going to be what's going to happen. Here's some more dogs. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, so... It is this kind of area here. Come to daddy. Oh. Yeah, we don't want none of your business. I mean, technically, this is right where it should be. Technically. Son of a bitch, this is just going to come out of nowhere, isn't it? It 
It's quiet. Some birds. That heat haze effect is really cool as well. I say I could hear the pitter patter of feet there. A stagecoach being attacked. We don't care. We literally don't care. Unless it kind of makes it way over to us. Um, I guess what we could do is put some more bait down. Guess. This is probably going to be really sucky trying to kill this thing. It'll take ages and ages and ages to appear. There's more dogs. Really don't want the dogs though. I don't know what they're attacking, to be honest. Son of a bitch. Kind of looks like something's over there. No. Nope, nothing. Bloody dogs. Coyotes. Same thing. Oh! That was a horse. Well, there's... You can get out of it. that our horse? Nope, because our, our horse is over there. Alright, okay. Search continues, I suppose. Come on. Come on, you gibby little shit. Where be ye? I guess we found it. <laughs> I guess we found him. Um, that hurt. Yep, that really hurt. All right, you. Let's give it everything we have. Oh, he's not dead yet. Son of a bitch. Right, he's there. He's hiding. He's hiding. Here he comes. Come on. Woof. He was tough. God damn. What a shame. What a shame to put him down. Man, um, so if I go to outfits, do we have... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the right suit. There is one outfit that we can wear that will let us have double the uh, goodies off these guys. But unfortunately, not for us today. There we go. Khan's meat. Oh, and Khan's pelt. I'm guessing that's going to be worth a decent amount of scratch. And his heart. So that now kicks us over to Master, rank 10. So now we need to find Lobo, the legendary wolf. 
um, Gerardo, the legendary boar, and Brumas, the legendary bear, and collect their pelts. Yeah. Okay. We're getting there. We're actually getting there. Final Master Hunter rank next video. Probably going to be an in-depth hunt. Now, what I am going to do off camera is uh, I'm going to try and find some of these things here. Um, for instance, search Coots Chapel. I'm going to go do that. Um, search Thieves Landing. Uh, win Horseshoe. Oh, God. I don't even know how. <sighs> yeah, I don't even know how I'm going to um, win at Horseshoe. I'm going to be honest. Maybe I'll watch a guide. I'm not sure. Search Silent Steed. See, we've still got to complete the California Stranger task. Make a profit playing blackjack. Oh, God damn it. And there's another hideout as well. So I might record just a collection of clips and edit them together into a video. And then do some um, post commentary. I think that's probably going to be the best way going forwards to get these outfits. Because some of them are just going to be really annoying. Like, I don't know how hard arm wrestling is. If it's just button mashing, it's probably not going to be that bad. Scrap three. Eliminate all other players in a game of poker in Blackwater. Pfft. Yeah. That's going to be stressful. And there's still an undiscovered outfit as well. Which I thought was the Legend of the West outfit, but it isn't. All right. Well, we'll start chipping away at some of this stuff next. I think. And then once I've done that, we're going to finish off the... Or I might just roll that into one video. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how this goes down. Now we've got a lot, and I mean a lot, of loose ends to tie up. I think I'm going to do that in the next video.